five-star general. One pump in the pond. Here he is. Look at the five stars. I use that really loosely in one of those machines. Update on the Severums. Well, there they are. And we drop it. It is your boy back with another aquatic adventure. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm aloha and welcome. On this channel, we talk about everything aquatics, whether it be freshwater, saltwater, goldfish and koi ponds, local fish store tours, fish rescues, DIY projects, and product reviews in the hobby. Now, Ohana, I am super excited for this video. We're gonna get into it, but I'm sure you probably saw by the thumbnail what's going on. But before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video, right behind me here is the above ground koi and goldfish pond. Now, when I say goldfish, I use that really loosely because I only have two goldfish in here. Majority of the stock are beautiful koi. And I get a lot of comments on, hey, how do you do water changes on the above ground pond? Well, I'm gonna show you, super easy. Check it out. So I kind of have a system when it comes to doing a big water change on my above ground pond. The first step I do is I take Maintain for Ponds by Aquascape. It's a dechlorinator, one pump in the pond. That services 100 gallons of water, okay? That's the first thing I do. Then I grab my hose, stick it underneath here, put it on full blast on jet mode, and start to fill the pond up. Now, because of evaporation, of course, it drops down. So this is the first step I take. Second, if you look over here, down in the corner there, that is the overfill. So the pond is not gonna get any higher than that mark there. Now, we are slowly gonna walk over there. I wanna show you guys what I mean by the overfill. So as the pond, as you can see it right there, as the pond gets higher, we're gonna unscrew this. Right there is where it's running off. It's just basically getting sucked out through a hose on the back side of the pond, which I'll show you where it's running, okay? And that's basically gonna be draining the pond as I'm filling it up. So we're gonna go ahead and put this cap back on. I know a lot of you guys are always asking me down in the comments about water changes. It's really easy on the above ground pond. The thing is, is you just don't wanna forget that you have the hose on. So once we screw that in, that stays just like that. You can see this beautiful sheen of waterfall coming out. This is gonna be filling up. Of course, we have our stopwatch. Now, I usually have the water running for about 30 to 40 minutes, right in between there. That's between 200 and about 225 gallons of water. Now, some of you guys may be asking, how'd you figure that math out? Super easy, anybody can do it. This is what I did. I took my stopwatch, I filled up this five gallon Home Depot bucket full of water. Once it reached the top, I hit the stopwatch again to stop the time. I looked to see how long it took to fill up this bucket. I believe it was like a minute and 55 seconds, something like that. Now I know every minute and 55 seconds, five gallons of fresh water is going into my above ground pond. So I just do the simple math, you know? Hit the stopwatch, <clears throat> every minute and a half, two minutes, I know it's five gallons. So I just go five, 10, 15, 20, you know, and there's my time, really easy. So I usually do this for about 30 to 40, between 30 and 45 minutes. Then I know I probably got about 200 gallons of fresh water. Once that is done, then I go in and I pump three more pumps of Maintain for Ponds, which is 300 gallons of water. It's always good to do a little extra, you know, pour a little out for the homies. And that's pretty much it. And these guys get this water change twice a week, at least twice a week. So I wanna make sure that these bad boys are super comfortable. And speaking of bad boys, can you see right there? Look at my badaka. My badaka are just kind of just hanging out. Like I, I knew they were gonna be over here where all the lilies are. They love this little pot of lilies. Oh, you can see one of them right there on the lily pad too. Right there, you see them? Top swimmers, you can see some right there too. So if you guys were wondering, the madaka are doing great in here. How about we do a quick little update on the Five Star General Cichlids. So let's head to the garage, AKA Tiki Lounge, my soon to be fish room and let's go check out the five star cichlids. Well, here they are. They are hanging out, doing fine. There is big mama right there. Look how beautiful, huh? Those five stars are blazing. And then you got uh, little daddy, we'll call him. We, we still don't know if he's a male, but they're just hanging out. Look at that, huh? Look how big she is compared to the other one, which we're hoping is a male. The big one there, if you have no idea, is a female. 
but you can see them. I've been watching these guys, I mean, all the time just to make sure they're doing good and they're not getting aggressive and fighting. Uh, there's an occasional chase around and whatnot, but nothing, nothing too serious or harsh. I think the way this aquarium is set up with all the hides and the site breaks with uh, the little caves and the plants, I feel helps out a lot. So that's the quick update on the five star general cichlids. I am watching them very close. Not sure if we have a male and a female. We definitely know we have a female. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a card up above. Click that card, go check out the entire video on the build and scape of this aquarium. I'm so happy the way it turned out. Go check it out, Ohana. Now let's go do an update on the Severums. Remember the male and female Severum that I have? I also chose a name too, thanks to you guys. Let's go check out the Severums. Now right behind me here is my South American Aquarium where my two Severums that paired up and are breeding live. Now check it out. My male Severum is a beautiful turquoise Severum. His name is Robert Van Winkle, AKA Vanilla Ice. <laughs> And I was asking the Ohana, you guys, to leave a comment on the last video on uh, a name for him. Now, I wanted to name him, like, uh, I don't know, uh, some type of female artist. So I was getting all types of cool names from Cardi B to Lil Kim to Sierra. You guys were just banging these names out. Even Goldie Spawn, that was a good one. I had a bunch of Goldies, bunch of Goldies, but I did choose one. And uh, there was a couple people that actually said the same thing, but the first person who said it was Johnny B, my boy Johnny B. Thanks for the name. He said Madonna. Because Vanilla Ice back in the day and Madonna had a little thing. Very brief, but they did have a little thing, so I thought that was a great idea. So we got Robert Van Winkle, Vanilla Ice, and Madonna. And I think that name serves her perfect. So let's go check them out. A speak of the devil, there they are. There's Vanilla Ice, my turquoise Severum. He's beautiful, huh, with that turquoise face. I think they're breeding again. Look at him. He's doing a little shimmy shim. This is Madonna, my gold Severum. She is the female. And um, I wanted to show you this as I walk around the aquarium here and we look down on the rock, no eggs. Yeah, they're gone. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. They probably ate them, but looking at Robert here, AKA Vanilla Ice, he looks like he's in breeding mode again. So they could be breeding and having more eggs. So I wanted to give you guys a heads up, keep you guys posted. I know a lot of you guys are asking and concerned. I don't have the room. I know get, setting up an aquarium for these two lovebirds would be ideal, but I don't have the room for them, Ohana, right now. So I'm just glad that they've paired up and they are a breeding you know, pair so we could put them in an aquarium in the future and have some beautiful fry, huh? Imagine this beautiful turquoise Severum with the mixture of this gold Severum. Oh, love these guys, look at them. Yep, here they are. Vanilla Ice and Madonna. So there's your quick update on the Five Star General Cichlids and the Severums. Now, if you wanna see the video with the Severums laying their eggs right up above, I'll leave a card. Click that card, go check out the video. Super cool, I've never had Severums breed before. So it was kinda of cool to see the rock covered with eggs and watching them defend it. Really cool, fascinating. And I'm super excited to get those two in their own little tank to breed and have beautiful fry. Anyways, it's about time to get into the meat and potatoes of this video. I think somebody is here and um, Let's get to it. Here he is, the man, the myth, the legend. He is back. We got the hydraulic line fixed. He brought it here. We're gonna move some rock. We're gonna do some serious damage. Ultimate goal is to get this big stump dug up. We have another little stump on this side. We're gonna get dug up and get as much dirt out of here as possible because we gotta return this excavator back to its owner. So we're gonna get as much work done as we're, as I talk about the word work, look at this thing. That's a huge rock it just picked up, like that. So we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna give you guys some time lapse as my boy Dennis is gonna dig out this huge, massive stump in the ground. I'm, I'm excited to get that out of there. So stay tuned, Ohana. We're gonna get into it, man. This is Tiki Falls 4.0, the rebuild. So right now, Dennis is setting a rock right there by the retaining wall. This was actually part of his vision was to set a rock there to kind of blend it in as we stack the dirt up behind this wall. So there he goes. He's just actually starting to make his vision come to life. 
I'm gonna get out of the, out of the way here. He's also moving some of these rocks here uh, to give us some more room because we're gonna actually dig the pond out over here in this section. So we're gonna do some more digging, widening it, widen it out a little bit. Look at that, man. It's so cool the way it just moves rocks. I can sit here and video this excavator doing work. This is where the artiste, Dennis, comes in. I'm gonna call you the artist, formerly known as Dennis. Scooping up this rock, and he's gonna plant it right next to that rock there, forming a natural retaining wall. I like it. All right, so we haven't started digging out this big stump here yet, but what we are doing, uh, I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you. All right, so Dennis has been moving these rocks. There was a bunch of rocks all right here in this dry grass area. He's stacking them up over here is because we're gonna take the pond, as you can see the retaining wall right there, we're gonna take the pond where my finger is and we're gonna cut. So we're gonna cut into it. Here's the pond, we're gonna cut into it right over here. So we're gonna kind of widen out the pond, just so you guys know. That's why Dennis is moving these rocks. He moved a couple rocks over there, making a little natural retaining wall, because all this is gonna be built up with dirt. And plus it's gonna give him more room with these rocks being gone to maneuver and get a nice angle on digging out more of Tiki Falls 4.0. So just keeping you posted, Ohana. Stay tuned. We're gonna hit you with some time lapse right now. My boy Dennis is actually moving and grooving right now, pulling up some of these big roots, loosening up the stump. You can actually see the whole thing moving right now. Look at it. Ooh, it's get, we're getting we're getting close. We just don't want to blow another hydraulic line. You know what I'm saying? So he's taking his time, loosening up the dirt in between the roots, and then he's gonna go for the kill. And that's a guy who looks like he wants to kill. As you can see, he's dumping out the dirt over here where the waterfall is gonna be going. So we're gonna. You know, add some dirt to this area here. But that shirt right there speaks all right there. Even Jesus had a fish story. That's a great shirt, my man. So he's digging up a lot of this good dirt here. Nice soil, nice rich, soft soil. And dumping it over here where the waterfall is gonna be going. Go. We may have to haul some of it off, but we're gonna get uh, rid of a lot of it just by adding it to the waterfall. Adding some elevation to create that natural waterfall. So, keeping you guys posted, Ohana. I'll uh, pick up the camera again when we move that big stump out of the way, all right? Other than that, enjoy some funky music and time lapse. This is a historical moment, Ohana. This tree stump has been here for, I don't know, at least 12, 13 years. The tree that was back here. Wow, no way, he's about to pick the whole thing up. What in the world? Yeah, I get to cut that up, guys. That's my job, I get to cut that thing up and put it in a uh, one of my trash bins. So that's the job for uh, the chainsaw. All right, so my boy's gonna go to work on this. Two thumbs up, even though I got one thumb here, the other thumb's holding the camera. Two thumbs up on the progress we're making on Tiki Falls 4.0. I actually forgot about this tree stump right over here that we're gonna dig up. It's a smaller one, that's why I really wasn't thinking about it, but we're gonna dig up this smaller tree stump over here, and I'm gonna flip the screen around and show you. You can see Dennis is working around it right now. He's digging right around the tree stump. I'll zoom in it on the second right there. You can see there's the tree stump, small little one. So he's pretty much working all the soil around it, loosening it up, and then he'll just pull that bad boy right out of the ground. You can see the mound of dirt over there which is insane. Whoa, there it goes. He actually just lifted up that bad boy out of the ground. Oh man, the jaws of life. It's like picking up one of those little like stuffed animals in one of those machines. <laughs> and we take it to the head and we drop it.
All right, my Ohana, so it is the next day. Good morning to you guys. I had to go coach some basketball games last night, and my boy Dennis had some things to do, so he got out of here. So we cleaned up, packed up, but I have to show you guys what Tiki Falls 4.0 looks like. It's gonna put things into perspective a little bit more than it did earlier, okay? So let me flip this screen around and show you guys what Tiki Falls 4.0 looks like. O-M-G-Z-O, Ohana. <laughs> Look at it. Look at the dirt over there. Look how high it is. We gotta obviously haul out a lot of this dirt we're not gonna use. I'm gonna come over here to this side. It is massive. Look at it, it's carved in. We still have to go and uh, clean up all this stuff. I just had to show you guys what Tiki Falls 4.0 looks like right now. Look at that, just massive. So we had to move rocks, so we piled them up over here on this side. This is the way Dennis had to, you know, leave with the excavator out the, out the gate. So we moved everything over here, and you can see all the dirt, the mound of dirt over there. It's insane. So let me just step back so you guys get a little bit of a better idea on how massive this pond is going to be. Look at it. Insane, right? Look at the stump, stumps right there. <laughs> All the rock that we have. This is that little level area that I cleaned up. This is the shallow area and then it's just gonna drop down to about four feet deep from here on down. Massive, we still have, uh, uh, we'll probably use the excavator one more day to move rock around. We gotta sling those rocks around, but I just had to show you, oh my gosh, what Tiki Falls 4.0 looks like. I'm gonna back up so you guys can get a, a better idea of what it looks like from afar like this. Wow, it's insane, right? Well, my Ohana, that pretty much does it for this video here. As you can see, we broke ground here in the backyard. I mean, we broke hella ground here in the backyard. Anyways, we will talk to you soon. I got to get out of here because me and my older son have a basketball tournament in the Bay Area. So wish us luck. I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll see you guys on the next video. Much love and aloha. <laughs> Ah, no, fake a pay, Moko. How are you, hooky, a ill, a money, a garage?